What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App, and today I'm going to show you how to create list components in Figma using Google's material design guidelines. Let's dive in. If you're new to material design, I recommend going to their website where you can learn about all the components in this video series, and you can also play with interactive demos to get a better understanding of how things work in production. We're gonna be making three different types of list components today, one that has one line of text, one that has two, and one that has three. A list is a larger component that contains multiple things. It has individual list items, it has rows and then it has the list container itself. Different lists have different content types. They'll have the primary text in the middle, which is the line item and supporting secondary or tertiary text. You can have supporting visuals, whether that's a leading or trailing icon or an image. And then you can also have metadata or controls. There are instances where you're going to be controlling things within a list and there might be a checkbox here instead of metadata. Let's go ahead and get started with our design. First thing I'm going to do is create a new text layer. We'll set this to SF Pro. We'll make it regular and we will set the size to 15 pixels, 20 pixel line height, and 0% letter spacing, and then type the words list item, and then for some reason it didn't take that letter spacing, so I'm gonna set it back to zero. Let's make this the full width of a row component that would be typical for an Android device. So we'll hit Shift A, and we're gonna change the fill color to light white, and we'll change the text color to this gray. We will make the width be 320 pixels. And we're gonna add 16 pixels of horizontal padding and 12 pixels of vertical padding. And we'll increase the line height of this by four pixels so that the total height of this is 48. And we will call this row. Let's set this text to fill container. I'm gonna take this row component. I'm gonna duplicate this a few times. Now I'm going to duplicate this text layer and I am going to have an icon here. So I'm gonna just type the word circle and I'm gonna change this to font awesome. We'll do font awesome pro. We'll set the width to match the height. So 24 pixels and we will center this. And then let's actually make this a little bit narrower. And then we'll set the spacing between to eight pixels. So this is what we'll call a leading icon. So it goes before the text. We could also have a trailing icon here. And then there's another version of this where it just has a leading icon. And then there's another version where it only has the trailing icon. I'm also going to go to my assets panel, go to the checkbox, I'm going to grab that, bring it over here. And I'm going to take these two rows, duplicate those. And then let's set the spacing to 24 pixels. And I'm going to turn this to disabled. I'm going to change this to unselected. I'm going to grab this and add it over here. And then and grab this and add it to both of these. And then I'll remove the icon from both of these options. Let's change this state to enabled and so you can see it a little bit better. Now I have a list item, a list item with a leading and trailing icon, a list item with a leading icon, a list item with a trailing icon, and a list item with a checkbox with the leading icon or not. Now, what I'm going to do after this is one final version, which has an image instead of a leading icon. So let's take these two components we're going to remove, duplicate those. So this is 24 pixels. And then I'm going to add what would be a profile picture here. I'm going to set this to be fully round. I will paste an image in here. Let's add this to the beginning of both of these. And then let's take both of these and have them be horizontally centered. Those are a bit high right now. So let's reduce the vertical padding so that it's eight. That way the height of this is only 56. And then finally, I'm going to do one more version of this. I'm going to take these two and also change the left side padding to only be eight pixels. And then finally, I'm going to do one more version of this. We're going to have this support a larger image. Let's say you are making the menu for a restaurant or something. So let's set the border radius of this to two and I'll paste that image in here. And then I need to make one more version of both of these that doesn't have a trailing icon. So bear with me. Let's duplicate this. this down here and then we'll duplicate this and then take that and let's take this component. We'll take this checkbox, delete it. We'll take this checkbox, delete it. So this is a lot, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a component set here and I am going to call this, we'll call this single item list. So there's a few different properties here. We're going to add a property called leading icon. We'll add a property called trailing icon. We will add a property called checkbox, one called profile picture, and then we'll also have one called image. I'm going to select the ones that starters have an image. 
we will say this is true. Then I will select all the ones that don't have an image and we'll say that, that is false. And then I'm going to select all of these that don't have a profile picture and we'll say that that is false. And all the ones that do, we'll set that to true. And then we'll go to checkbox. So all of these have a checkbox. So we'll set that to true. And then everything else does not. So let's set that to false. All of these have a leading icon, which we'll set to true. Everything else does not have a leading icon. So we'll set that to false. Let's select everything that has a trailing icon and set that to true. And then I'll go to everything that does not and we will set that to false. Now I'm gonna take this list item and let's change this to have a leading icon. And let's select the text here and change this to star. And then I actually wanna add a trailing icon here and make this a close icon. But maybe I actually want a profile picture. Let's do that. Or I can switch this to an image. I could add a checkbox. This really quickly becomes a super powerful component. And then if you have multiple of them and you add, put them in a frame, I can really easily adjust these rows to have whatever content I need in them. Now that I've got my single item list, I am going to duplicate all of these, remove them here, and I'm going to detach these instances. And then I am going to select all of these text layers and I'm going to duplicate them. For each of these, I will also apply auto layout. Now that I've done that for all these components, I'll go back, select them all. Next, what I'll do is I'll take all these auto layout containers and change them to be vertical instead of horizontal. And then I'm gonna set them to fill a container. Let's make sure that all of these fill their container. And then I'm gonna change the spacing between to actually zero pixels. And then I am going to take all of the secondary text and I'm gonna type the words, this is a secondary line item and let's make sure that all of these text layers actually fill their respective containers just because the container that they're in is filling the contents does not mean that they necessarily will be so let's go back and do that we'll change this to fill container then i'm going to take this secondary item and i'm going to change that to a lighter gray and then i am going to add that into all of these and then i am going to rename all of these row really fast. And then I'm going to take all of these components and let's again, create a component set. We'll call this two line list. And then I've got all the properties over here, leading icon, trailing icon, checkbox, profile, picture, image. So let's again, duplicate that. Leading icon, trailing icon, profile, picture, image, checkbox. All I've done is I've taken everything from the single item list and applied it to the two item list. So if I take this component here, I could add a leading icon, I could add a trailing icon, checkbox, profile picture, image, etc. Last thing I need to do is my three line list. So I'm going to rename this three line list and then I'm going to duplicate this and say this is a tertiary item. And then I'm gonna just duplicate that for all of these. And then I'll grab all of these components and I will distribute the vertical spacing. Let's set that to 24. And that's it. You now have a single line, a two line, and a three line list component. You can easily adjust to whatever you're designing. You can add leading icons, trailing icons. You could add both. You could swap out one for a checkbox. You could include a profile picture, or you could add an image if you're working on something like a restaurant application. This goes to show the power of component sets and what you can do with Boolean values when making components in Figma. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of creating single, two, and three line list components in Figma and know how to better use them when you're designing in the future. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.